Okay, here we are with a beautiful view of the nasal angle. Using my streamlined device, I'm gonna engage the trabecular meshwork in a perpendicular fashion, applying gentle pressure, keeping constant pressure as I press down on that blue lever, which creates a microgoniotomy. At the same time, advancing, releasing, uh, with a good significant force of seven microliters of viscoelastic into the canal on either side of that microgoniotomy. I'm creating a couple more of these uh, microgoniotomies, again, also with force releasing viscoelastic into the nasal canal. Now it's gonna seem like I didn't do much there, right? You say, well, did I really make a goniotomy or not? Well, watch what happens now. After a few minutes here, after a few seconds rather, you see that reflux of blood? That's the reflux of blood from the canal through those microgoniotomies that you can see now, which does really does show that we have uh, created a microgoniotomy. Now look at that blue, the black arrow there now. Watch that, that plume of heme. As I press just about a clock hour away, do you see what happened there? Viscoelastic went through the canal, here's a slow motion, through the canal and came out that microgoniotomy. This is evidence that really there's a significant amount of force entering the canal with each time you press that lever. And that's important. This is not in the anterior chamber. This is coming based on the amount of behavior of that heme. It's coming out of that goniotomy. And now you can see here how the nasal angle, or the TM rather, is kind of blanched now where we did the microgoniotomies because of that viscoelastic. So really, I think, clear evidence that we are injecting a significant amount of viscoelastic and creating that nice microgoniotomy. At the end of the case here, I'm just gonna remove, you see those two small areas where we did the microgoniotomies. You can see here, I'm just gonna remove viscoelastic. But what's also fun is that the evidence of blanching. Watch this, as I'm just filling up the eye at the end of the case here with some more BSS and hydrating my wounds. Watch that arrow, look at that blanching. Actually, you can see here again, I love slow motion, watch this. Slow motion here, watch those arrows. You see about three o'clock hours of blanching as I inject this BSS into the anterior chamber, just completely whitens that out. So with those small microgoniotomies, we truly can create a significant improvement in outflow, as you see here evidence, just with basically manual BSS insertion into the anterior chamber. I really hope this helped you. Thank you so much.